protection from weeds and harvesting. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafer.com. Protection from weeds In the crop plant, along with desired crops, many other undesirable plants grow naturally. In the fields, all plants other than crop plants are called weeds. Weeds consume water, nutrient, space and light. Unavailability of all these factors affect the growth of crop. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. In addition to this, some weeds also release toxins which may damage the crop plant and are hazardous to animals and human beings. Therefore, weeds must be removed from crop plants. The removal of weeds from crop land is called weeding. Weeding must be done before flowering of crop plants. There are many ways to remove weeds or control their growth. Tilling before sowing helps to uproot and kill the weeds. Manual removal of weed is done by trowel that is khurpi or seed drill. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Some chemicals called viricides are diluted to required extent and sprayed with sprayer to control weeds. For example, 2,4-D and methacular. These chemicals are toxic to human body and so must be handled carefully. Before spraying, nose and mouth must be covered with clean cloth or mask. Harvesting The process of cutting matured crop is called harvesting. In this process, crops are pulled out or cut close to the ground either by sickle or by harvester. Fresh crops contain moisture, so these must be dried in the sun. The separation of grain seeds from harvested crop is called threshing. It is done by thresher. There is another machine called combine, which is the combination of harvester and thresher. After separation, the stem of crop is cut into small pieces and stored as hay. It is used as fodder, that is, food for cattle. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Farmers with small holdings of land separates the grain and chaff by winnowing. The chaff, being lighter, flow away with the wind and fall away from the grains. Thus, grains are separated. So, I hope you have got good understanding of this topic. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe learnfordafford.com and press the bell icon to never miss an updates from learnfordafford.com.